टीम सर टीम कैप्टन मोहम्मद अजहर उद्दीन हाथ मिला हाथ मिला ओके गए मोहसिन भाई हां राइट You have begun your election campaign for Telangana, and you're contesting from Jubilee Hills. Yes. What is the mood on the ground? You've been hitting the ground running. I think the mood is very good. You know, it's very positive. Wherever I'm going, I'm getting positive uh, responses. So I'm hopefully looking forward to the election. First time uh, fighting an election from my own state where I was born, mm. and I'm very happy to be back here. And then I have all the support from uh, all the people. You know, a lot of people have joined from different different other uh, parties also, and I'm very happy that uh, I'm looking forward to it. You made your political debut in 2009, won as an MP for the first time, right. and then uh, 2014 happened. Yeah. Uh, why did you decide to fight as an MLA this time and make a debut in Telangana? Well, I think I wanted to work for the betterment of the people in uh, Telangana because I think when you are an MLA, mm. I mean you can, I mean you can develop a particular constituency. Mm. It's very easy, but when an MP also you do a lot of work. I mean. I've done a lot of work in uh, Moradabad also, mm. but I think I, mean, the, I can concentrate on one constituency because I mean I've seen you know there's a lot of uh, uh, I mean the, the, the constituency is very la large you know it's very good but it's not developed you know because in the last ten years uh, since this government has come there is no development to be very honest okay. because they keep talking about development development but no development has not happened in the place if you see the places when I'm sure you must have also been walking you know there's all water logging. Mm. And then sewage problem, deep problem. We have the same problem in Murada also. Mm. But Murada was also. Mm. I mean, why successfully we uh, managed to get it done, and the work is still going on. You know, the second, third phase is going on in Murada. So we want to do that. You know, I want to help the people here because some people are living in very difficult, very very trying uh, conditions. So mm. hopefully, I mean, when we come here. We win the election, inshallah. Hopefully, and then we'll work for the betterment of this place. Okay, let me ask you this question: Why should the voters of uh, Jubilee Hills constituency vote for you? Because I because I, I I want to work for the people here because that's the most important thing because I don't want to be just an MLA you know just uh, win the election and then uh, not work here because if you see my track record also in Moradabad I mean, if you go back you know I mean if you see I mean we worked very hard in Moradabad we have delivered so inshallah I'm hoping looking forward to de deliver here deliver here also and uh, I mean the public are there people are there and uh, we'll definitely look into the problem that is the most important thing for me because when I'm elected. I'm, 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 I become their representative, and I want to work for them. Whatever the problem they have, you know, it's, it's, it's a very large. There are large problems are there, but we will definitely try to solve as many as we can. What is your view on the KCR government? Nine and a half years of their governance, they're eyeing a third term. They're saying Congress here. They have acknowledged that Congress is their biggest uh, opposition in the state, principal yeah. challenger. Yeah. But they are saying Congress has not delivered. No, I think we have always delivered. You know, because it's the. the the question is that you know when we have been delivering for so many years, then whatever development which has happened over a period of time is done by the Congress government. It's only nine and a half years since the KCR government has come. But I think they have made huge promises. But I think the main promise was that the 12 percent for the minorities and for all these things. That nothing can happen because these are all promises where it's very difficult to I mean implement. KTR का कहना है कि you're using minority voters as a vote bank and you've not done anything for them. No, I think we have done a lot. You know, what are the women like the last time we gave the four percent of uh, percent minority done by the government uh, by the Congress party also. But when this uh, when this government has come, they have not delivered. They promised that they will give twelve twelve percent, which is not possible. When things are not possible, unless unless you just uh, say, I mean, for the sake of things, it's not going to work. Because now people have realized what the problems are, and then if you see so many people are there, and we'll maybe another time we have a uh, tomorrow we have a very big uh, rally also. Inshallah, we'll see. What people will have. I have a couple of questions for you. You know, uh, Congress has come up with six big guarantees yes. targeting women. Yes. Yours is a constituency where there are a lot of women voters, yes. almost at equal par with yes, men. Yes, yes. Uh, do you think women will be game changers this time? No, definitely. Yeah, I mean, I, I've always looked for women. Have always voted for me. Mm. Even in Moradabad, even in uh, when I ran from Tonk and uh, Savai Madhapur, mm. a lot of women have voted for me. If you see, I mean, in most of the places where the rallies also there are a lot of women. Mm. 
So I'm really looking forward to the women coming and voting because I want to help them also because I don't want to want, want them to just sit at home and then do their homework but I want to I want them to come out also and work for the betterment you know because always if you empower them it's all the, it's the one of the best thing you know if you have to empower everybody I mean people say only talk about empowerment for other things but I think emp empowering the women also is very very important I think they also have a lot of talent I think maybe they have more talent than me or maybe some of the people here so we'll really definitely respect them and then uh, look look forward to that support I want to ask you about your candidature you have made your debut now uh, as a candidate yeah. but with your entry uh, former MLA PJR son Vishnu Vardhan has quit uh, Congress and moved to the BRS. Yes. The allegation against the party is that new candidates are being given chance and opportunity in exchange of some uh, corruption benefits that have been leveled against uh, Revan Reddy. So, uh, how do you respond to these allegations? Madam, these are all things, you know, I mean, during election time, all these things will come up, you know, because these are all elections. Because if you, like, I mean, I have no, uh, I mean, personal enmity with anybody, I don't have. If he had got the ticket, you know, he would have fought the election. But the party felt that I was the right candidate, so I got the ticket, I will run for the election. If somebody wants to leave the party, it's not my problem, it's not my headache, it's not my uh, thing to think about it. My main thought at that, at this time, for the next one month and after, inshallah, after that also, is to develop this constituency, which is very, very important for me. The people of Jubilee Hill, the community, the people who live in Jubilee Hill, at the moment, I'm really concentrating on those. If I start concentrating, if I start thinking about who's saying what and what is that, then I will not be able to, I mean, uh, do my work properly in the constituency. My only hard work and my only mind is for the constituency and I want to work for the constituency. That is my place. I want to tell people also that, you know, I'm here to work and I will definitely deliver, inshallah. Prominent leaders like Punala Lakshmaya, even Congress well, minority chairman, whose resignation has created a lot of flutter. BRS, uh, Asaduddin Obesi himself says that Congress is a party which does not value minorities. No, I think we've always ma valued minority. You know, people can say everybody has an opinion, you know, because that opinion might not be correct all the time, you know, because everybody has an opinion. They are open to say anything, but I think as far as our party is concerned, we have done the best and uh, we are. if anybody doesn't want to stay in the party, I think that nobody, we cannot force anybody to stay. The last question, yeah. do you think polarization will be a big factor? You are fighting from a constituency where the minority population is also heavy. And in Hyderabad, it's Asaduddin Ovesi who has his bastion running. Outside of Telangana, BRS has always uh, swept the Congress uh, minority votes in the last few elections that we've seen. Where do you see Muslims are positioning them? No, I think the, uh, the way has changed actually now because we see what happened in Karnataka also. And uh, that's a different election, this is a different election. The people are really looking forward to, I mean, the minorities are really looking forward to vote for the Congress. And inshallah, I mean, we'll make sure that uh, we will do a lot for them. And uh, I think the, as far as polarization is concerned, you know, the, uh, for me, I think there is no question of being polarized or something like that. I got, I can, I get equal votes from both the communities. Like, for example, I was fighting in... Uh, I got 3,15,000 from the other community, so it really doesn't matter. And I, I want to, don't want to get into this. I want to work for everybody. For me, everybody is a human being. BJP is saying 4% quota for Muslims will be removed. That is their problem if they come to power. Do you see BJP standing a chance? Do you see BJP standing a chance? You'll have to I doubt my. Okay, before I let you go, you're a cricketing legend, World Cup. Who do you see? Well, do you see India? India has a very good chance and I think India, I mean, will definitely win the World Cup because the way they are playing, I think we have a very good side, you know, we've got a lot of depth in bowling, batting and fielding. So I think I'm, I'm hoping uh, and rooting for India and inshallah they will win. Of course, but who do you see playing uh, in the finals along with it's India? very hard to predict at this time, at point of time. I think maybe Afghanistan also. Afghanistan? Yeah, because they've been winning so many matches. And who amongst, who amongst the playing 11 is your favourite player right now in the current generation? Well, I think I like Rohit Sharma, he's a great player. Thank you for your time. All the very best.